What is up, family? It's the Budget Base Head. Welcome back to the channel. Right now, what you guys are looking at is the last thing that we talked about here in this series, which was the fifth order enclosures. But for right now, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be moving on to sixth order base reflex. But before we do that, I like to do a little bit of a refresher to let you guys know exactly how it is that we're coming up with the uh, our methods of counting orders. Primarily when you're talking about counting orders, you have two different sides of the camp. You have camp A who prioritize the natural roll off of an enclosure. So what do I mean by that? Orders to these guys mainly has to do with the natural roll off of the enclosures, meaning that each additional order constitute is only constituted by a 6, a 6 dB per octave roll off of the enclosures F3. So what do I mean by that? So if you were to graph one of these enclosures, right, and compare them, let's say for instance, a sealed enclosure to a ported enclosure, you should see a two or a 12 dB per octave roll off or difference from the second order to the fourth order enclosure. And as you guys can see right here, the second order is constituted by a 12 dB per octave roll off and the fourth order is actually constituted by a 24 dB per octave roll off. And that's pretty much how we count the orders on this side of the camp. However, this is not the only opinion that we are going to be illustrating here in this series. We also talked about those who prioritize counting acoustic storage components. And to them, the order is constituted by the total number of energy storage components within your build. If you guys want to know a little bit more about this, please go back and see the previous videos. And you guys, are, like I said, the verbiage in these videos in this series will make a whole lot more sense to you. But out of respect for the guys who's been following the videos in order, I'm going to be moving on. Right now, what we're going to be talking about is what we stated earlier, which is the six order base reflex. So why is the six order base reflex such a controversial build? Well, if you look at this from Camp B's perspective, those who count energy storing components, you will see that you have the driver, which is always second order. Then you have this additional, I mean, this chamber that it is loaded into, which makes an additional order because this is the energy storage component. So is the port. This makes it fourth order. Port it here, fifth order, and then it comes out of here, which constitutes a sixth order. So why is this so controversial to Camp A? Camp B will look at this and say, yes, second order, third order, fourth, fifth, sixth. That is a sixth order base reflex. It get our stamp of approval. Camp A will be like, well, hold up. A sixth order can only be band pass. There is no such thing as a sixth order base reflex. So why is that? Why do Camp A think, or why do Camp A, why do they refuse to constitute that as being a sixth order base reflex? Well, let Camp A tell it. A sixth order can only be band pass. Why can a sixth order only be band pass? Well, in order to understand where Camp A is coming from, their perspective of this, you first have to understand what is a band pass. So a band pass is tip is basically a filter. In acoustics, you can have two different types of filters. Well, you can have more than that, but we're gonna talk about the electronic filter that you can have and the structural filters that you can have. So what do I mean by that? The purpose of these filters are to allow or to limit a specific range or band of frequencies from passing through. So Kemp A is saying that when the front wave of a fourth order base reflex, which is what this is, you have second order, third order, fourth order. So just this portion of this enclosure here is considered a fourth order base reflex. So Kemp A says that when you have a the front wave, right? This is the front wave of a fourth order base reflex firing into an additional ported enclosure, 
or chamber in this case, that constitutes a six order enclosure. So what do they mean by that? They're saying that this additional vented chamber right here has a 12 dB per octave roll off of the upper F3. So what do they mean by that? What they mean by that is that this is second order, okay? If you remember the graph over here, let's go over here. Second order is constituted by 12 dB per octave roll off. So what they're trying to tell you is that if you were to graph this, that's exactly what you will receive. So what you're getting is the fourth order, right? You're getting a fourth order low frequency roll off plus the second order high frequency roll off which makes this a six order and because the rear and front wave is being manipulated right that makes it a band pass if you were to graph this you would see that only a particular a particular or specific um, band or range of frequencies is been allowed to pass through if you were to graph this that constitute a band pass or in this case a structural filter okay so if you were to go back to earlier when when camp b was like no this is a six order base reflex because of the energy storing components that we counted here camp a would say no the natural roll off of this enclosure does not constitute what we think or what we look at as being a six order enclosure so what do camp a mean by that what camp a is saying right here is that a double a double chamber reflex is still a fourth order for there is no high frequency roll off of this enclosure you're still only manipulating the real wave the front wave is still uh, allowed to be blasted off into the uh, the uh, the wide open here into infinity in theory. So they're saying that uh, reflex, whether it be single or double chamber, only rolls off at 24 dB per octave below the uh, the low frequency F3. Hence, still making it a fourth order. Uh, base reflex you understand so that's what camp a is saying despite what camp b is saying about counting these acoustical storage components here camp a is saying nope that does not constitute a six order the major difference is if you guys are wondering is that camp a is saying the only major difference that you would get by adding uh, extra chambers inside of this what they consider a fourth order base reflex is that there are now two impedance dips rather than that of a single impedance dip of a single chamber reflex uh, enclosure so what do they mean by that basically what they're saying is that if you were to graph this and you was to look at the impedance uh, uh, phases of this you would see that there are uh, now an additional impedance dip because of the uh, um, the additional chamber on the inside of this meaning that on and overall what the six order base reflex is doing is giving you better cone control at those frequencies whatever these two uh, chambers are tuned to you would have better uh, cone control there but the impedance will rise and dip as it would with a a standard uh, base reflex it would still rise and dip which is why you would have two dips here instead of one because you have two chambers on the inside of this so yeah it will give you better excursion control and uh, dampening so that would be the only perk to uh, even building one of these type of enclosures right here in camp a's opinion okay that is the <laughs> that is something that you know audio files have kind of like grappled with over the years the whole six order base reflex they wouldn't even call it that to be honest with you but like i said it is all about what you as an engineer is looking to get out of this enclosure and it's also up to you as an engineer what you want to call your piece of art this is your art 
If you want to side with Camp B and go with their perspective of this being a six water base reflex, then you have all the right in the world to do that. And if you are, if you want to side with Camp A and say no, this is still a standard, well, not a standard uh, fourth order uh, base reflex, but more so of a hybrid fourth order base reflex. And that's kind of like what you would have. If you want to side with Camp A and say that yes, that's what that is then by all means, you, you have the right to do that. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be moving onward to the eighth order base reflex. So with the base order eighth reflex, you have some interesting things going on as well. But just to be honest with you, if you were to look at in, at this, this aerial view of the eighth order base reflex, you pretty much have the same thing that's going on here in a six order base reflex. The only difference is that you just added an additional chamber. Not that much difference of when you're building an eighth order band pass build, which is coming up in the next series. If you guys wanna know a little bit more about what an eighth order band pass is, I may leave a screen tip for you guys to click and you can follow something that I did in a previous video and have you guys check that out. But just know that I'm going to be doing another video on 8th Order B Base Reef I mean, Band Passes as well. That's the upcoming videos. But for right now, just know that the major difference between this enclosure and that enclosure is just more dampening. That is it. And for fun, if you want to just count the acoustical uh, energy storing components here, we can do that as well. We have this the driver itself, always second order, chamber third, vent four, chamber fifth, vent six, chamber seven, vent eight. And that's pretty much what constitutes an eighth order base reflex. So I don't wanna bore you guys too much of the repetitiveness of this. And for you guys who have been following this series, I just want you to know that uh, I do have a build coming up in regards to one of these enclosures. I'm not going to give it away. Just know that I've been having some fun. <laughs> I have tried these two guys here in the past. The sixth order I did very, very successfully. The eighth order, on the other hand, not so much. These things are kind of unforgiving if you don't know uh, all the intricate details of building an eighth order enclosure. And that's another downside to the eighth order base reflex and sixth order base reflex. One of the cons of, of, of building either of these enclosures, despite all of these enclosures being the same size here in this 3D model environment, these things get very, very big. Okay, the space that they can take up, especially for a large driver such as the 12 inch that's modeled here in this in uh in this environment would be huge. Okay, don't don't look at this and say, oh, I can just you know go and build one of these because D had one in the video that only took up X amount of space. Well, these things are not built to spec. Okay, just know that these are not these are for display purposes only. Just think about if you were. I mean, to give you an example, if you were to have built, let's say for instance, if this chamber was 30, this one was 60, and this one was 90, you guys already know who have built enclosures before that in order to get a 30 hertz response, you need to move a lot of air, okay? So this chamber is gonna be relatively huge, especially for um, a smaller drivers, which mo mostly, that's what you see these eighth orders, uh, these higher order count enclosures, you usually see them with smaller uh, smaller drivers, not something as large as a 12 inch. Though you still can do 12 inches, uh, but you usually see these in like, you know, four inch driver, five and a quarters, three inch drivers, something of that nature, not, not something this big. So in order to get this down to 30 hertz or 20 hertz, you have to build a relatively large chamber here or you would have to have a very narrow port in relation to a medium-sized chamber, which can introduce port noise. So what most people would do is just throw a lot of space here over here at this at this chamber here, and then the other ones won't be as, as large. But in order to get a 60 hertz 
response out of a chamber, it still has to have some some size to it as well. So you're looking at probably, I don't know, two cubic feet over here or more, a cubic foot here, like half over here. You're gonna be looking at taking up a whole lot of space just to get this thing built. So don't let these models fool you here. These things are just that. They are just models, okay? Some of these enclosures take up a whole lot of space. And the sixth order, of course, wouldn't take up as much as the eighth order. But just because it's a, 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 a lower order count don't mean that it won't take up a whole lot of space as well. The last sixth order I built for a 12 inch actually took up about four cubic foot, four cubic feet. So just keep that in mind when trying to build an eighth order base reflex. So that's an additional chamber. Okay, but uh, on and overall, what the pros would be, of course, this thing would sound amazing. You can get some deep, some very deep level bass out of these guys. Uh, the dampening factor would be amazing uh, in terms of like cone control. You won't have to worry about excursion all that well, because like I said, when you're building these type of enclosures, basically what you're doing is, um, in, in case of this, is building filters. With these band passes, these reflexes, pretty much the same, the same things in in, in terms of um, the dampening that you can get out of these inner chambers right here would be amazing. But enough of that. I'm gonna cut this one here off. Uh, like always, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and until next time, don't um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share the video with a friend or family member. And yeah, just, just stay tuned and just know that these guys are coming up next. The eighth order band pass versus the sixth order band pass. I think this one here is pretty uh pretty interesting. So stay tuned for that, guys. Plus, I got a demo coming for you. I got an upcoming build, like I stated previously. Uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and give it away. I'm trying to build another eight, eighth order band pass. Now, and I think I think it's gonna come out pretty, pretty, pretty good this time. Last time was a fail, but that's okay. We live, we learn. And I have learned. I do want to give this another shot, and I am gonna give it another shot. So just stay tuned for that. My uh, explanation of these two guys in the build, the future build that's coming up. And until next time, it's your boy D, and I'm out.